Hey viewers, you ready for more of the Chevrolet Monte Carlo tape? I sure am. Colton Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 here, and we're going to do it. So, yeah, side two of the Chevrolet Monte Carlo. So, yeah, I just want to tell you, yeah, like I said, about the design. The design is a bit different from the blue stripey ones. So, I just want to tell you, um, side two starts off differently this time, with different music background at the beginning. So, we, we still have the original music, although, you know, it's probably in a different place. So, yeah. Sound system we talked about early. Anyway, let's just play side two. And, yeah. So, yeah. Let's get to it. Here we go. Whether you enjoy music as you drive, or you like to listen to the news, weather, or the traffic report, your radio is an important part of your new Monte Carlo. That's true. To help you fully enjoy this entertaining feature of your Monte Carlo, we'd like to go over some of the controls and features of your radio. Your owner's manual provides full details on all of the features and operation of your sound system. Your Monte Carlo may be equipped with any of a number of high-quality Delco sound systems. All Monte Carlo radios have buttons which can be programmed to electronically tune in AM and FM stations. To program a station preset button, first press the lower control knob to select either the AM or FM band then manually tune the radio to one of your favorite stations. Then, press the button marked Set. When the set indicator on the display lights up, press one of the station push buttons. If your radio doesn't have a set button, simply hold down one of the preset buttons until the word Set appears on the display. As soon as the set light goes out, pressing the station button will tune the radio to the program station. The seek up and seek down functions help you locate radio stations without listening to static between stations. Both the seek up and seek down functions will stop only on those stations with a signal strong enough for comfortable listening. To set the clock, first press the set button if your radio is so equipped. Then press the seek up and seek down controls to adjust the minutes and hours. Your radio may be equipped with hour and minute buttons. If so, Simply press and hold the buttons until the correct time appears. The time will be displayed anytime the ignition is on, except when you're tuning a radio station. Your sound system reproduces a full dynamic range of sound. As you listen to the following music selections, adjust the volume, bass, and treble controls to suit your tastes. The bass control adjusts the lower sounds like bass drums and tom-toms. All right, bass sounds right here. The treble control affects higher sounds, like snare drums or cymbals. You can control how much of the sound comes from the front and the rear speakers. As you listen to the remainder of the program, Begin with the fade control set in the center position, then adjust it until the front and rear speakers are adjusted to your satisfaction. You can also adjust the balance or how much sound comes from the left and right speakers. You can adjust this the same way you set the fade control. If your radio is equipped with variable speed control or SVC, your audio system can automatically compensate for road noise by getting louder as you drive faster. Turn the control behind the upper knob to the SVC position to activate this feature if your radio is so equipped. For a full explanation of all of your sound system's features, please see your owner's manual. We wish you many years of driving and listening pleasure in your new Monte Carlo. Now we'll wrap up this presentation with music selections designed to let you adjust and get acquainted with your controls. Just to let you know, this tape has more music selections than the Blazer and the S-Series pickup tape, so here, I'll prove it to you here, so take a listen right now. This is the first one right here.
right here is music selection number two. This is the music from the four-wheel drive selection on uh, the Blazer tape. So yeah, if you haven't even heard this, just watch the Blazer tape. You know, watch the Blazer video. You know, like side two of Chevrolet Blazer, and um, play, play side two, and then uh, I'll prove you. Okay, music selection number three. Okay, music selection number four. Okay, music selection number five. Alright, one more music selection until we get to the original ones that I've heard before. Now I know that this is the music for the glove box for, you know, like, Blazer and S-Series pickup. But, you know, this is for Chob Strength Procedures music on Tahoe and CK pickup. So, yeah. Monte Carlo isn't actually a truck because of the, if you look at the cover of the tape. So, yeah. At least you got the same music though, and that's a good thing. Okay, we are almost here, viewers. We're almost here for our stop for the original music selections for the Blazer, or actually the Chevy trucks. Anyway, here it comes in three, two, and one. There it is. The original music selections. Enjoy them. Just to let you know, after the five music selections, now that we're at the original music selections, we now have a total of, of 11 music selections. Like, this is a good tape to remember. I'm glad to listen to this.
Drive Tips Music, also known as the Off-Road Driving Music for CK Pickup. Okay, that will do. So yeah, that's about it for the, the, the 1995 Monte Carlo tape for Chevrolet. 
So, um, yeah, really good. I mean, other than the tape design being different and the openings for side two being different as well, and, you know, for something about side one, for not being told the same way like they did in the, the, the other tapes I have, I mean, this was still a good tape to listen to. So anyway, um, you know, I mean, there's like a tape on Amazon that's Chevy, Chevy trucks related. It's gonna be a, an Astro Van tape, so. Probably in like October or November, I'm probably gonna need to get that tape, so. Anyway, that'll be it for the video on the Chevrolet 1995 Monte Carlo tape. See you guys next time for the next video. You know, maybe it'll be Jeopardy for the Wii. Maybe anything else, I don't know. Anyway, viewers, I'll see you in the next video. This is Colton Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 signing off. Peace out, everybody.